we continue learning Rabbi Yaina's Sharei Tshuva. We pick it up on page 559. It says, Rabbi Yaina, what's the Makar that one is not allowed to accept Rechilos? V'izharnu min Midaraisa, it says, Shaloi lekabel l'ashayin hara. One is not allowed to accept l'ashayin hara, which includes Rechila Shinemar. V'loi sisa, sheim ha'ashav. Do not accept a false report. Says Rabbeinu Yehina v'nehemar, and says the Shleim HaMelech in Mishlei, Moishel Makshev al Dvar Sheker, kol Meshar Zav Rishayim. If the Moishel, if the ruler, draws close to Sheker, to falsehood, all the servants are wicked. Uber Shezachon of Racha, Explains the Medrash, Kasher Amisha Mikabel Hashem Rav Adivri Rechilos. Then Yasu Mishas Rishayim Valchei Rachla makes his Mishas to his servants into terrible people. Limso Echem Ene Adayin Ehem to find favor in the eyes of their master. But the critical ingredient that we're mentioning here is that we see from the Medrash that it's both Lashayin Hara and Rechilos turned out from the same pasuk, both sourcing this is Haraisa to both of them. Concludes Rabbi Yehuda this section. Hine al shlishah chalakim asher zecharnu kivnu. So under the rock, I can't misapri lashnara. These three categories: lashnara, which is shaker, lashnara, which is true, and rechilos. This is where Chazal were talking about when it said that the cat of those who speak lashon hara will not to be makabel and greet the shechina. Rachman al Islam continues Rabbi Yehuda after we de- delved deeply. With the three Iker, we'll call it the main categories of Lashon Hara. Says Rabbi Yehuda, there's more categories within the world of Lashon Hara. Chelik Aravi is Avak Lashon Hara, the dust of Lashon Hara. Amr Rabbi Seinu teaches Gemara Baba Basra, Roi Vaylam Nechshalim Begezel. The majority of people are Nechshal. They stumble with regard to stealing Umiutan, and a minority of them is Barais. But says the Gemara, a startling statement. Vikulam, everyone, Bavak Lashayin Hara, stumble within the world of Lashayin Hara, the dust, a little bit. Vamru teaches Gemara and Erechen, Kiyin Yin Avak Lashayin Hara, Kashi Yisabi Vadu Vadvarish Yisabi Neodam Lashayin Hara. What does it mean? A person's own words. When you talk and it causes someone else to speak Lashayin Hara, your words have a little tainted. Part of them is Lashon Hara of Amru. Don't even talk about the goodness of your friend. If what? Should we take the Vasa Balide Genusa? It's going to cause others to talk about his faults. Vine says there being a Yaina. And after the Shrikh of the Vayar Mimer is that we have to explain this. Because what do you mean? We know that it's one of the most beautiful things to be Meshabeach, to praise other people. The honor of the righteous is honorable. And furthermore, it says regarding the wicked, so what's going on? It sounds like the bad people don't say Shvach, the good people say Shvach. And yet we're saying that saying a shvach of someone else could be called avak l'shayin hara. Avol zayis techuna as inin azaz says Rabbi Yehuda. This is the techuna. This is the substance of this matter. Ki in the sabbat tevas adam zulasi bad vad do not talk about someone else only on a one to one basis. Keshe davi shal rei return aleimar loy bekalam u'moshe ramim. Don't talk in general at a gathering in public about someone else. Why? Unless you know, if you're talking to 20 people, you have to be certain that there's not one of those 20 listeners that is Soine, who hates, or Umekane, or he's jealous. The person that you're speaking good about. <clears throat> so says Rabbi Nina, of course, to speak good is incredible. But if you do it in a public fashion, how do you know that maybe one of the people in the crowd has some ill will towards the person you're sp- speaking? Whether it's real sin or whether it's kin up, and they're going to then talk Lash and Hara. That's where the extra care has to be. Says Rabbi If one wants to praise a person that people already know, when everyone knows that he's a good guy, 
כמה בני ישראל וכאן יש לשאב חיים. Then you can do it even in front of the enemies. Because no one's going to belittle this guy if everyone knows it to be a tzaddik. And if he does say something negative, then everyone's going to know. So to speak about someone great, that's okay, because no one's going to ever <coughs> belittle such a person. Continues. Another groups within the world of Lashon Hara. If a woman asks his fr- her friend to shovel a hot coal from under the fire to fire in her own home, and she answers, Where do you get a hot coal? Ah, go to that person. She always has something cooking in her house. This is similar to Avak Lashon Hara. Why? Because there's always the sarcasm, there's always the level of criticism. What do you mean she's always cooking? What, they eat so much, etc. But now my second case. If one blesses his friend loudly every morning, brings curse. What does this mean? So praise his friend with words of praise is going to lead to financial loss. Why? Like the case of a guest. He leaves someone's house and he yells out. But he stops and he talks. He says, ah, that balabayis is so amazing. Slaughter from me. And what's going to happen? Well, people are going to hear. Everyone's going to go flock to him for a meal. It's going to cause him a loss because everyone's going to be going to eat with him. And a third case where we have to be care. And again, these are, of course, avak. These are, of course, similar to avak, lush, and hara in that they're not really negative. They're not really, but it's causing something that could happen. Chayiv Adam Lishmar Pevon has to guard his mouth with Lashana, his tongue, Shalih Chashi, with Varim. Shah talks about Shalih Chashi, with Varim, let no, I say we have Kim Sabr, Lash, and Hara. So not suspect him. Of even being one who speaks Lashon Hara. Even if he isn't, you have to be careful what people think. If you bring yourself to a place that people suspect you of talking Lashon Hara, you are acting incorrectly. And this is considered Avak Lashon Hara. We'll pick it up from here.